Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Lake District where I am on the edge of the village of Ambleside and I'm here to do quite a mammoth walk one that I can see most of at the moment if I show you this way the sun has lit up half of the beautiful Fairfield Horseshoe so this lump of rock at the end here is Nab Scar that runs up onto Heron Pike there's two summits of Heron Pike and then Great Rig is the big dome and then the one right at the back is Fairfield. And then what I can't see at the moment is Hart Crag and Dove Crag. And that leads down over High Pike. And now I can just make out the top of Low Pike over there. So this walk, I think, is about 18 kilometers, which is like 11 or 12 miles. And it's going to involve quite a significant amount of scent. Now, as you can see, I'm quite wrapped up at the moment. It was minus three leaving the house this morning. And I started this walk at about quarter past eight. So the weather is meant to be an absolutely gorgeous day. Almost no wind and mostly sort of blue sky with a few high level clouds. There's not meant to be any clouds on the summits themselves. So I'm just praying for a beautiful day compared to the weather I've had recently. This is just gorgeous. So the ascent out of Rydal is a steep one, but what it means is I'm gonna get most of the ascent out of the way relatively early on. And just look how the views open up behind. The sun is just rising behind one's fell over there. And then I can make out Windermere as well, just glistening in the sunshine. And it's pretty warm now. It feels like it's definitely in the plus degrees, probably only two or three, but I was expecting the fell to be really icy and there is no frost or anything here yet. It could be different higher up, but... Oh.
So here I am now on the 454 metre summit of Nab Scar, which is the first of the Wainwrights if you go clockwise around the Fairfield Horseshoe. And the view from up here is absolutely stunning. Obviously, you've got uh, Windermere just down here, but the view is so much better looking towards the Vale of Grasmere. So it's Grasmere down here. I could see Rydal Water most of the way up, but from the summit here, unfortunately, you can't actually make out the lake. But Grasmere is down here, and you've got the great mass of the Coniston Fells, and then all the fells at the end of Langdale as well. So it's Crinkle Crags and Bowfell, and the Langdale Pikes, and then Harter Fell is actually poking up between the two masses. Oh, absolutely gorgeous here. And I'm going to be continuing up the ridge towards Heron Pike, which is my next Wainwright, about 612 metres. And it's probably going to take me about 20 minutes or so, maybe half an hour to get up there. Um, I'm going to do a quick 360 for you so you can see what summits are visible from here. And just spotted something over this way. So this is looking towards the east. This is the mass of Wandsfell. And I can make out right in the distance over there. I think is probably the Howgill Fells. I'll double check it and I'll get a zoomed in shot of that as well. So this is the 612 metre summit of Heron Pike and I believe this is the Wainwright summit and then there's another summit just over there at 621 metres so just a little bit higher and I will stop there on the way up the ridge and I can finally see Great Rig now which is my next peak just before Fairfield and then I can see the rest of the peaks now with Hart Crag over there, Dove Crag, High Pike and Low Pike. Oh. Just such a beautiful day, there's not a breath of wind. It's actually a lot warmer than I expected it to be.
So I've just left the 621 meter summit of Heron Pike. It's just up there. And look, there's a definite change in the weather. Look at this dark gray cloud. There's snow flurries that I can see over to the northwest. So the northwestern fells, some of the central fells, some of the southern fells like Scarfell Pike are all getting a dusting at the moment. But so far it's holding off where I am and it doesn't look like it's getting much closer. I think we're at this interim period where the wind was coming from the northwest and now it's going to move around to the northeast. So we'll see. Um, I've got about one and a half kilometres to go from where I am to the summit of Great Rig, which is at 766 metres, so I've got about 150 or so to go up as well. I'm a bit knackered, but here I am on the 766 meter summit of Great Rig. And if you can tell, it's just started to snow a little bit. Oh, I'm just getting my breath. The view again extends so dramatically south. Windermere is lit up and I can see Morecambe Bay. I think I can see the nuclear power station and I can't quite make out Blackpool Tower, but there's a good view that way, look. In the distance over there is Ingleborough, it's got a very distinctive top, and the site of an Iron Age fort as well, and that's about 30 miles away. Whew. And then if I rotate you around this way, again, all of the Coniston Fells, Crinkle Crags and Bowfell, Scarfell Pike now in the cloud over there, just had a light dusting of snow. And then if I look northwest, this is what I was talking about earlier. This weather front is moving in. I don't, it wasn't forecast specifically. It said there was a risk that there'll be a few snow flurries, but this is quite extensive. I thought it would be just a little one passing through and it's been stuck here for a solid hour or so. But Fairfield up ahead is still free of cloud. Fingers crossed, it stays that way. And then from here, once I get to the top of Fairfield, I'm gonna stop, have some lunch and then work my way along over Hart Crag, Dove Crag.
So just up there behind me is the 873 metre summit of Fairfield. And I sat up there for about 20 minutes or so, had some lunch, got a bit cold, so I've changed coats and obviously the view. I sat looking over towards St Sunday Crag, which is actually down here on my left. Such an epic mountain and an awesome horseshoe if you uh, take in Fairfield and go over uh, Arnis and Crad, Burks and Sunday Crag and then up onto Fairfield and then down potentially this ridge that I'm going down partly towards um, Hart Crag but um, anyway yeah the weather is really cold there was a gentleman sitting next to me who had like a um, one of those little kestrel wind meter things and it said the wind speed was about 12 miles an hour with a wind chill of minus nine and yeah it definitely feels that now I can feel it on my hands my hands are getting a bit sore but to the north that's all Helvellyn just in the clouds I can see cats to cam and this is all striding edge thankfully I'm heading a nicer direction weather wise down this red heart crag dove crag down I can just make out high pike and low pike as well So here I am at 822 meters. This is the summit of Hart Crag. The cairn is just here, and there's another cairn on the other end of this area of high ground. Now, according to the Ordnance Survey map, this point here is 822 meters, and that one's probably about the same. It's not that dissimilar, and sadly, there's not really any views. I can see back to Fairfield, which is nice, but everything is starting to be coated in a little bit of white. In preparation for tomorrow, I think there's going to be a lot of snow tomorrow. Oh, still very pretty. So the sun has just broken through as I'm on the summit of Dove Crag and here's the lovely snowy cairn and if I look this way I've got an incredible view looking down towards Brothers Water that I can just make out over there and this is Hearts Up Above Howl that ridge and then High Hearts Up Dodd and Little Heart Crag down here the great mass of red screes looking rather white at the moment and then behind that in the clouds still is Cordell Moor and then the great mass of the Eastern Fells and the pointy one I can see over there is Kidsty Pike it's a nice and easy one to identify so then I know to the right of that in the cloud must be High Street and then to the left is Rampskill Head and then High Rays oh I've been in the cloud for about an hour and it's so nice 
to finally be out because see Fairfield behind me over there. It's completely covered now, so I got there just at the right time. So this cairn marks the 656 metre summit of High Pike and it's barely a little knoll along the ridge. You can see it extending over here behind me and Fairfield way up at the back now free of cloud. But I imagine from further down, if I look down to Low Pike down there, it's quite an obvious little prominent tree. This would look really impressive and I know it does. So I'll show you once I get down there. What I'm gonna do now, I think looking at that cloud is perhaps head over just away from the summit, capture a few time lapses because the weather here is so dramatic today. So the forecast was for actual like intermittent sunshine all day and a few clouds with a very low risk of uh, snow. But it's been almost the opposite. There's been only a few sunny spells. Quite a lot of snow has fallen and it's also just created these dramatic clouds as a bit of an inversion. Let me show you back down to Low Pike. Look at the cloud coming up there. I think I've only got a few minutes, so I need to go get set up.
So here I am now on the summit of Low Pike at 508 meters above sea level. And if I take a view back from where I come, that is High Pike. And from here, it looks like a real pyramid of a mountain. Oh, the snow is really starting to melt down here. And if I turn you this way, you've got Little Heart Crag. This is Red Screes. And the view is dominated by Windermere to the south. Look at that with the dramatic sky, lots of cloud, lots of smoke as well. There's been quite a lot of burning going on. Oh, what I'll do is I'll capture a quick 360 from here so you can see what peaks you can see from here. And then I'm gonna continue down the ridge towards Ambleside. And I know just down here, there is a rocky scramble. Now you can circumnavigate it by going round I think if it's okay, I might actually scramble down. We'll have a look. So I made the decision to avoid the scramble because conditions underfoot were actually still pretty poor. Anywhere the sun hasn't hit, there's still plenty of ice and snow and I'd rather not be scrambling downhill and then slip on some ice. So I've taken this path that just diverts around the scramble, which kind of sits between the wall that runs along the top of the fell and High Sweden Bridge, which is down on my left. I can't see it yet but I can certainly hear the river, which is Rydal Beck, um, sort of crashing down there. So there's certainly some waterfalls nearby. And I'm at about the 300 metre contour here. I've got probably 220 or so metres left to go down. And I'm still getting some lovely views ahead to Wandsfell and Windermere, let me show you. So you've got Windermere just over here, snaking its way around. And then Wandsfell just still a little speck of snow up on the summit that's the north facing side so it's going to keep the snow for much longer uh, so i reckon i'll be back at ambleside in about maybe 45 minutes to an hour So I'm almost at the end of this walk now. There's only about 500 meters of this country lane and that's gonna take me straight down into Ambleside where I started this walk. Now today has been absolutely breathtaking in every way. The weather has been stunning. It was gorgeous sunshine this morning and then it got really cold with a few snow flurries and then it ended up in the cloud for a bit and then popping out of the cloud and seeing the dramatic skies from High Pike just the cherry on the cake absolutely perfect conditions so i want to say thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future uploads and i'll see you next time